you know, sometimes I just sit back and <laughs> reflect how lucky we are. We've only had cars for 100 years, personal flight for, what, 50? Um, all these advancements, recently like, some, like an asymptotic peak. <laughs> yeah, and as you know, some of you do, and I work with a team of researchers that are pretty sure that our star has a recurring NOBA event every 12,000 years. And one happened 12,000 years ago in about 20 years. So you should be enjoying yourself, <laughs> you know. Uh, and if it doesn't come, it's good advice anyway. I thought we'd talk about electron donors today, which is what methylene blue is. And the idea here is to fix a problem in the mitochondria where too much reaction oxygen species are being created and not neutralized because you probably haven't had enough zinc or copper to make the superoxide dismutase. So instead of fixing that problem, you can take methylene blue and it'll absolutely restore ETC function and increase the production of ATP in the mitochondria and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't get rid of the underlying problem. The underlying problem, of course, is your diet and that sort of stuff. You know, I've been following a lot of really interesting doctors recently that are pretty confident, and I, I see the logic in it, that if you're not operating at minus 20 to minus 24 microvolts and you don't have a pH of 7 and you have low oxygen pressure, your cells do not have a chance. And the way to test that is take your temperature. Take your temperature in the morning. You know, if it's 98.6, if it's close to that, you're okay. That's kind of the, the way you can do that. You can take a voltage meter and go outside and test your actual body voltage if you want to take it that far. But the idea here is I never talk about one of the really good electron donors that I've produced using as a combination of synergistic ingredients, resveratrol, green tea extract, turmeric, bioparin, all that kind of stuff, uh, grapeseed extract. And what that does is that it does something really important because sure, you can take these really high dosage of polyphenols, but let's not forget that polyphenols are produced in plants to keep the insects off, and at some point they kind of act like insecticides. So you can't really take huge doses, even though a huge dose will give you some effects, you know, there's side effects to deal with. What they found, and I'll put the link below, is that if you mix resveratrol with some of these polyphenols, they have exceptionally good synergistic relationships and a little bit of resveratrol can let a microdose of these polyphenols, which are not harmful at all, act like a huge dose again. And that's what the Polyphenol Plus does. You know, this, this is an interesting product because I take it uh, every week, I take one of these things before I go to bed at night because it absolutely will take care of the hippocampus and where memory is stored and all that sort of stuff and the mitochondria and the cells in that area of the brain. And you have to understand that although your somatic cells, these body cells may have, I don't know, 500 mitochondria in them, some of the brain cells have 2 million. So the idea here is any drug that will negate the effects of reaction oxygen species to give you an effect that doesn't actually change the problem of why you're making so many reaction oxygen species is another band-aid. Not that it doesn't work. And let me say something else too. If you don't dry fast and you don't clean yourself up and change things, yeah, you should take that stuff and all the other stuff these guys that don't dry fast suggest doing because yeah, you'll probably last a little longer, probably a little healthier, you won't die as long at the end like Joel Furman talks about. And it's a good thing. You know, I take it Friday night before we go to bed because it works for a couple of days and it just starts washing all these reaction oxygen species out and trimming things up and making sure your cells are working correctly because resveratrol, as we know, nests in the sirtuins to make NAD and resveratrol, small doses of resveratrol, produce an increase in NADH, which of course breaks down to NAD, NADH, NAD in the electron transport chain to, you know, work the iron and the copper in the you know, last steps of the ETC. So yeah, if you uh, do a couple of things and uh, just kind of change your diet a little bit so you don't make so much damage happening in the cells. And the other things I talk about in my book, A Philosophy of Time Travel, 
You know, there are things you can do that you can really reduce the risk of dying too early. In fact, increasing the likelihood you'll live a lot longer and be a lot healthier. So that's kind of the message today. I don't talk about polyphenol plus much because there's so much talk on the internet about polyphenols and this and that. And you know, I have a pretty hard view of them. In large doses, I don't think they're safe and I don't think they're healthy. Uh, regardless of the health benefits, they may impart is the damage they do while they do it. And we found that, of course, if you just use small amounts of resveratrol, microdoses of these polyphenols, it gives you all the great effects and without having to take a whole bunch of you know, polyphenol drugs. So that's kind of the message today. Electron donors are important. You have to get rid of reaction oxygen species. We know that you know, copper, the best source of copper is beef liver. I just eat about an inch square piece, half inch thick, every week. It gives me plenty of copper and it balances the iron. And uh, I do a lot of other things I talk about in the philosophy book. But uh, you know, you'd be well advised if you haven't seen this site before to get this book, The Phoenix Protocol, and learn how to drive fast. Once you get done with drive fasting, you'll see that, oh, wow, this is probably a good way to go. And you want to probably buy the other books, which is how to live during the year when you're not drive fasting. And the third book, How to Really Improve Lifespan. So that's kind of where we are. If you're new here, hi. Check out the videos below. We have lots of videos of me talking about drive fasting and all the user comments about people that have employed it and have improved their health. So I encourage you to jump in and join in, and thanks for coming. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and you know, you'll be notified when these things come up and I post some more. So that's it for today. It's a beautiful Saturday, and uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch that very one-foot wave come in. <laughs> one foot. Anyway, take a walk and do some stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.